hey virgo welcome back to my channel this is kelly from house of virgo gonna do your love march reading let's see what the messages are for you coming in if you're new please click like share and subscribe if you enjoy this channel um and if you're a returning subscriber yay welcome back welcome back i just saw a card flipped out um be mindful guys there are scammers in the comments who are asking you for to reach out to them uh, to get a personal reading they're scammers they're taking your money um so just so you know i do not go into the comments and solicit you for money and readings okay so just keep that in mind don't answer any of them all right so virgo just keep in mind also some of the messages may or may not resonate or it may or may not be for you so take what fits leave the rest okay and yeah let's see what's going on you've got paradise and palm tree what the heck's going on virgo are you going on a trip <laughs> where are you going virgs you going somewhere tropical you going on a cruise this is pretty okay hold on i think i need a little more light here not that much my goodness i can't see um okay so you've got happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other um let's see stability serenity endurance growth and extravagance and flexibility okay i like it virgo looks good looks like some of you might be going somewhere or you live somewhere where maybe some of you are lucky enough to live in a place that you call paradise or it's the name of a city or a town or a street okay and you've got keys on a ring many options virgo listen okay virgo you've got some options you might have some choices or some options maybe you want to go somewhere you're traveling or trying to figure out where to go take somewhere take a trip where it's sunny and warm with a drink in your hand and your toes in the sand very nice i feel like that's just a specific message you might be planning that in march for a later date or you're actually going somewhere nice um dating someone's team might be offering to take you on a trip somewhere okay all right all right all right we're liking it we're liking it so far okay let's see what else do you have usually i only pull three cards but you've got stabbed in the back okay so let's see somebody stabbed you in the back and you're turning it around it looks like you're like uh, go ahead i got options i got other options the sword and the rose oh my gosh that feels like the three of swords virgo okay there's definitely some revelation happening here for you okay this stabbed in the back card is 100 percent a heartbreak or some kind of breakup um maybe some pain it looks like some of you might just be deciding you're getting out and you're going somewhere and gonna go lick your wounds somewhere or whatever and just go live your life i i feel like with keys on a ring um virgo you've got options you've got mail yeah <laughs> virgo you're getting some texts you're getting some reach outs to you know go have a good time after some type of shifty energy um you're taking a chance some kind of a risk um being strategic yeah options You've got options, Virgo. You have many options in, in the month of March. This looks good. It looks like you're just showing up here, Virgo. You're not really, I don't see you down and out, okay? For those of you that are going through a heartbreak or, you know, a separation of some sort, I just feel the urge to pull another card here and see what's going on. What else is going on? Who is this? Who stabbed you in the back, Virgo? Okay, somebody with an addiction, point blank, period. They might be a gambler. They go after the thrill. They're a thrill seeker. They can never stay stable. They're impulsive. Um, somebody controlling, maybe possessive or obsessed with you. They're very codependent on you, Virgo. Um, yeah, this person's like completely blocked. Yeah, they're doing some shady shit. Mm -hmm. Doing some shady tricks. Tricks up their sleeve. That's for sure. Um okay i'm gonna get into this virgo because i just kind of feel like you are like yeah you already know and you're just not you're, some of you are just you're not going back to the past um 
you're walking, I see you walking towards the horizon, getting out there and uh, doing something with yourself and taking a trip or going somewhere, just getting out and, you know, toes in the sand, drinking hand, that kind of energy, being happy and living your life as you should, um, taking a time out after some kind of heartbreak or separation or dealing with someone who's, you know, sub like they have some kind of an addiction. It's either an addiction to you or you're one of them. Okay. Let's see. I'm picking up some gambling vibes, definitely. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this person, look at them. They're like, what do they have on the pedestal? Their money. I feel like it's. it feels like someone, especially with the deck of cards there, blackjack. Oh, look at me messing things up here. It feels like this person is like, their priority is like the coin, the money, maybe the Bitcoin. They're... Um, a crypto addict <laughs> of some sort okay um and if it's you okay well maybe i'm shouting you out giving you a shout out here all right yeah so oh this is just perfect i mean seriously look okay you see the page of cups there this person is very hesitant about making love offers they have it behind them and they want to make that love offer but they're very hesitant they don't have any they're because they're so busy like okay well i can't have both i can't i can't keep going with my my addiction or my gambling addiction or whatever being so focused on money you know like you you can't have you can't have two masters uh love and money you gotta you gotta have one it's one or the other okay <laughs> it's one or the other right you can't serve two masters so um i feel like this person yeah they're stuck on the coin look at it they idolize it that pentacle idolize it all their ideas or plans are gonna be rich someday this person focuses you're getting ignored they're ignoring you or you know i don't know if this is your past person if this is somebody you're currently dating but it looks like they're just pretty much like okay well money's more important to me um, that's my first priority and they're real hesitant and slow with making the love offer okay um, all right yeah risk taker for sure Aquarius energy there this person basically just you know they're they don't they don't think they have no brain this person has no brain for love they have no heart for love. It's like deep within there. They've probably been hurt before. And they, they've been um, broken up with or they were stabbed in the back. And they turned around and said, you know what? I'm just going to marry my money. I'm just going to focus on my money, which everybody tends to do. But it feels to me like, you know, it, even if it's like some kind of split up with this person, that's their focus right now. If you were to try and reach out to this person or try to give like some kind of uh, if there's I mean, they know they owe you an apology but they're too focused on their coin at this time okay let me see and uh, it's foolish it's foolish energy they're being an idiot they're being they're giving up great love they're giving up an opportunity like there's no love is invaluable it, when you find it, it's a treasure. You hold on to it. It's the most valuable. Like when you have two people like that have that have that. Oh my gosh, it's 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 precious. It's it's more valuable than than precious gems. And this person is just I don't know. They're like that fool energy is someone who's kind of like a child. It's like, you know, they're very impulsive and they're they they can't even see because they're they got this tunnel vision on what they're focusing on in their money. They're not even like really, I don't see anything else going on with them with anybody else either. If you're that person who's like, well, you know, you think maybe your person is cheating or because they're not available, they're, you know, they're, having a, they're having a love affair with the, that copper penny and all them dimes and, you know, all that, that, that cash, those pentacles. That's their love, of, that's their mistress. That's their sugar daddy, sugar mama energy. That's the one they're having the affair with, the money. And it looks like, Virgo, you're done with it. You're like, you know what? You're out. You're going to go live your life and have fun in March. Or at least make plans for the future, you know, to do that. Okay? You've got options. And you're looking at them now. You're taking them. Yep. There you go. There you go. You're following your heart. You're coming out of your comfort zone, Virgo. Which, it looks like you need to do that. Okay? Um... I don't know if this person just puts, it, it's addiction, something that they're addicted to. Maybe they're addicted to work or they're addicted to gambling or some type of uh, where they idolize material things and they're not, 
they're not giving much in the way to the relationship, you know, and, and I feel like they do know that they owe you an apology for something, but they're like so broke, busted, and disgusted that they can't even bring, why do I keep hitting my thing? <laughs> they can't even bring themselves to do that. It's like behind them. They're like, oh, forget it. I'm not even going to worry about it. Let me just go get my, my bank, my bag. All right, <laughs> Virgo. Virgo's like, yeah, you know what? I'm single as a Pringle, keeping it moving, not wasting my time. If money, if you want to have a love affair with your career, with your work, with your ideas, with your addictions, have at it. Have at it, Frank. Have at it, Sally. Go do what you got to do. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Have at it with your addictions to attention seeking or your fantasies and your ideologies and living like up in the freaking clouds and you know, you had something good and you just freaking blew it. I feel like that's your energy, <laughs> Virgo. Virgo's like, you know, you can tell I'm in the Philly area. We freaking this, freaking that. Okay. King of Swords, here you go. Cold as freaking ice, the ice king, the ice queen. Uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. And and don't get me wrong, not all air signs are cold as ice. Um, you know, male or female energy. Um, it's just someone who's coming across, whatever sign they are. They could have air somewhere in their chart. But whatever sign they are, they're coming across, they're presenting as an air sign where it's all intellectual it's all their thoughts it's all their strategies it's all their communication and the things they say and they're being very influential with their words and you know I mean they're they're being honest but the honesty is that they're about themselves they're very intentional with the way they lead in their life and what they want but it feels like it's about them it feels like it's about them they got to get that need met first before meeting yours okay Ooh, the tower okay so i mean virgo just feels like this person <laughs> they all right so they're just saying this person loves when things come crashing down and as a matter of fact i'm predicting some kind of stock market crash or some kind of financial crash coming up here this person that might be partially why they're so focused on this financial, this money, this thing that's trying to get their money, trying to, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe they know it's coming, but I feel like this person, that is their focus. They don't care about the relationship right now. Um, and I don't mean to say that in a harsh way. I feel like this person is really concerned that they're going to lose everything and they're going to go broke and they've become like they're scrambling. And, and I, I feel like for a lot of you, this whoever your person is, they, they got into a big old mess with their like a, addiction to messing around with their money. This person loves the build up and the crash down. They're a thrill seeker. Like I said, the impulsive behavior. Virgo, it looks to me like you're going to show them a real hand of cards here. Yes, you are. You can't play a player. And I feel like Virgos are the ultimate players in the Zodiac. I, and I don't mean that in a negative way for you. It, it's not what that means. But honestly, like Virgos, you you don't give you underrate yourself. You don't give yourself enough credit. I mean, you're very intelligent. <coughs> Excuse me. People often think that you're a player. You're not. You, I mean, you're not, but you could be if you wanted to be. And I feel like if you need to do that with this person, um, not as a revenge tactic, but it's more along the lines of like, I feel like your energy, well, you know, two can play at that game and you're not given anything. Okay. Yeah. This person is going to hit rock, rock bottom. I'm telling you now it's coming for them and whatever. I mean, it looks like, <laughs> like I said, you're going to be on some kind of beach in Maui. I don't know what you're doing, but you're all your cares to the wind. I don't know what Virgos I'm talking to, but I'm definitely channeling someone here who's like, yep, yep, yep. I know some of you um, Virgos are up with the angels and you're hanging out with your fairies and you're digging your toes into the mother earth and you're sipping on your, you know, um, I don't know, your T's and doing your tarot cards, but some of y'all are <laughs> basically not doing that and you're putting on your, you know, your high heels and you're getting your bag or, you know, you're dressing to the nines and, you know, going to have some whiskey and <laughs> living it up. So I keep hitting my thing. Why do I keep hitting this? Oh my goodness. All right. Yep. Okay. Virgo. Virgo's like, you know, listen, go home. Just go home. 
telling this person just you need to go home you're a mess like you need to go back to your mom or your dad like you need to go have a conversation with them like you're a mess you need to go back you need to get grounded go back to your roots you're saying to this person maybe in your head because you're a mess you're out there and you're just you're playing um and you're not you're living in like some kind of dream world here with your ideas and your plans and you, you're just letting love pass me pass by and virgo it feels like you're like you're not stable you need to go home and get stable like you need to put some roots because you're acting like a child you're acting like a fool <laughs> out here dating some ufo looking people and freaking aliens from out of space and these like what the heck is going on um clown for a clown okay so <laughs> virgo this person though they're like rock bottom they're they're totally gonna crash crash and burn okay got the sun here let me see all right they crash and burn and here you are having a whole new beginning positive energy coming here for you i don't know if you're gonna like feel even better because this is happening like let, tell me a little bit about this person's like crash and burn what the hell's going on what is this like they they get defeated they're gonna be like broke busting and disgusted disgusted and suffering suffering hey you know what? If you want to play those cards, you want to play that hand, sometimes you're going to lose. You're going to lose hard. Um, yep. Th these are two so very different. Look at this. Ten of Swords and the Death card in the reverse. The Sun and the Ace of Wands. Positive new beginnings on you. And this person is like hitting rock bottom and suffering. Yeah. Well, you know what? They made a decision, right? They chose money over love. Not your problem. Not your problem. What are you going to do? right this person is broke they're broke they have all these ideas and they keep dropping all them coins and coin slots and like a little gumball machine gambling i don't know what the heck they're doing but they're not they're not doing good or they won't be going forward all right virgo let's take a look more at you tell me more about virgo because virgo's looking mighty fine <laughs> Virgo's in the spotlight. Yes, looking mighty fine, feeling good, all healed up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. There you go, Virgo. Renewed spirit, definitely with the star. Look at you. These three cards, fantastic. Um, we don't even want to look at this poor sod. I don't even know what th the deal is. This person's an idiot. You know what? It's fine. You chase waterfalls. Guess what? Guess what the end result's always going to be? Remember that old song? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the that you used to. I forget the words. I'm so old now. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, risk taker, you take a risk and you don't think about it. Impulsive risks always turn out bad. Always in some way not a calculated risk which is crazy because this person is very calculating but for some reason they took a risk letting you go that's for sure yep i feel like this person figured well yeah i'll just leave for a little while and go out on my own and see but you know what they're going to come back and you're going to be gone you're gone you're not no you're not waiting i mean if this person was going out into the wilderness to hunt for food to bring back so everybody could eat yeah you'd wait for that right <laughs> but they're going out to try to make their own way in life and try to be like you know take a risk and and listen someone who wants to be with you never puts themselves in a position to lose you i mean that's just facts you don't need to know anything about their trauma you don't need to know anything about their deep-seated issues or why they're not interested look at the facts okay um nothing circumstantial here whatsoever this person has walked away or they let you go they put themselves in a position to have somebody else come in and swipe you up and here's other options showing up here for you, Virgo. You know, um, if you're not taking them and you're going back or you're waiting for this person who gave you up, what are they going to fight for you for? You know, I mean, why? There's like hardly even a chance because they just figure you're always going to be there. You know what I mean? Which is why they're temporarily walking away and they think they can come back into your life, Virgo. This is a card of temporary separation. Okay, let me go take care of what I need to do here and make my money. And I'm just, I'll be back. Virgo will wait. Virgo will be back. All right. Virgo's seeing things real differently now. Look at this. The hangman. Getting a different perspective on things. Wait a minute. I don't have to wait. 
I've waited and I made the best of it while I was waiting for this person to get it together or just choose you. And it looks like you're seeing things a little bit differently here. What are you taking a look at, Virgo? What are you seeing differently? You're taking a look at yourself for sure. Yep. <laughs> My cards, they speak. They confirm everything I say. You're looking at yourself like Virgo's like, wait a minute. Uh, look at me. I'm fantastic. I'm amazing. I look great. I'm a good person. I'm stable. I got my wealth to whatever degree. I've got my money. I've got all the things I need. I don't need this poor slob who can't figure out what the hell. Like, they're, they're seriously, you're going to give this up for a little itty bitty coin? You're going to give that seriously? That's what you're doing? Goodbye. Adios. Bye bye, Felicia. Like, Virgo, I see you taking like a total, you're doing a 180. And you're looking at yourself and you're like, you're a fool. You gave this up. You gave up. You seriously, you're an idiot. Go ahead out there. Go out there with your UFO looking girls or guys and, you know, these un un unidentified flying objects that you're dating or trying to get into. Go ahead. Go ahead with that. Have fun. <laughs> And here they come. Virgo, I'm telling you, right? Don't wait. Stop waiting. If somebody walked away or was willing to let you go, keep it moving. That's their decision. Keep it moving. I'm telling you right now, this is you here. Whether you're a male or female, I don't care what you are. Look, this is your card. This is who you're supposed to be. If you're not being this right now, you need to get into that energy, okay? If you're feeling sad because they were willing to walk away, you know what? Flip them the bird and just tell them, adios, I'm effer. Go have fun. Do your thing. Because gonna they'll regret it. And, and then they'll come back. And then they'll be like, oh, because they don't know that you're not going to leave. They, they don't think you will, honestly. And they come back with this innocence and this sweetness. Like, oh, here, look what I won with my money. I could buy you some flowers. Uh, like, what? Seriously, I could go pick some flowers out in my neighbor's garden. I can get my own flowers. Thanks very much. Adios. You know, they're going to definitely try to reconcile. I miss you. I made a mistake. Uh, give you that apology that they um, finally, f it's fake. It's a fake apology, Virgo. Because even though this is a card of sincerity, this is a card of someone <clears throat> playing sincere they had the opportunity to come back in and apologize or try to like work things out with you and they didn't take the opportunity okay and now look at you you've got options you've got mail do you guys know i watched you've got mail a couple nights ago i legit sat through the whole thing and guess what i have to tell you that movie i forgot all about it <clears throat> excuse me but i love meg ryan i forgot all about the movie and i'm watching it and it was like two people who met online and had this long relationship online when they were in relationships with other people. So some of you might have, you might be, there might be two people here who are already in relationships and you guys have been talking online or you just have been talking online and this person just did not want to pursue anything or try to like time's up, something like that. You might have had this long thing going on in your head or um, an online pen pal. Virgo, this person could have been in prison if you never met them and given you all kinds of like, oh, no, no, uh, uh, I was at work all day. No, you weren't. You were, uh, you were on prison break. You were out there. <laughs> You're out there uh, breaking rocks all day. That's <laughs> what the heck. And Virgo, look, they're coming back with that love offer. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm going to do it right this time. Virgo, you ha cannot even be focusing and worrying about this mf -er. You need to get on with the busy business of getting on with yourself seriously you are too good you have too much going for you i don't care if you've been sitting on your couch eating cake and popcorn every night crying in your sleeve i you know what snap out of it get up get moving get out there do what you got to do for yourself virgo right i know some of you i i do talk to some of you guys who are like <laughs> Listen, I'm not telling you, I know some of us, uh, some of you guys are older, right? I get it. You're not going to the bars or any kind of thing. You're not, you know, going to the clubs and stuff like that. If you're like over 50, some of you are just like, you know, been there, done that, not interested in that scene. Fine. 
then get out and do some things with friends and some family. You don't have to get crazy. Like I said yesterday in the reading, you don't have to be flashy. You know, just be yourself and go out and start being happy and remembering and enjoying the things that make you happy, right? The little things, the smell of a certain flower, the sun warmth on your face, um, your hiking, exercise, being out in nature, you know, or, you know, popping on your high heels, depending on your age and getting out back out there and, and you know, dating. Listen, Virgo, you got to play the player here because this person you've been dealing with, like, I don't, they're definitely, they got player vibes to me. They got player vibes to me. Virgo, you can't be a victim of that. You got to play. Listen, if you're going to get in the game, if you found, if you realize this person might have been playing with you and you're going to stay in the game, then you got to play the game. You, you can't, <coughs> you can't go into a, into the ring with someone and play by your own rules. There's a set of rules. If you're going to get in the ring with someone, <coughs> the rules have already been established. If not, leave the, look, nobody can fight you or compete with you or play any games with you if you're not in the ring. So you got to make a decision. All right, you've got new love coming in though here, Virgo. Like I said, you've got some options. You have many options, actually. And you're not letting one hand know what the other hand is doing. You've got many options, Virgo. I don't think you're going to take <laughs> anything seriously. I think at this time, Virgo, you just want to date and get your feel goods back again. Seriously. Because you're just not trying to get involved in any more shit stains, that's for sure. I feel like you're going to get a lot of different offers. Look, these are two of the same cards. Definitely coming in. And you also got this person showing up here to try to you know bring something back around because they think you're still there i feel like they could be sitting out on your doorstep for um i don't know sleeping through the night waiting for you to answer the door because you're not going to be home you got a lot of love offers coming in here you know whether they're someone buying you drinks or um, reaching out to you or connecting with you and virgo it's not so much i don't know that some of you might just be like nah not right right now not yet um and others of you might just be like, hmm, let me see. Do I like one, two, three, or four? Plenty to choose from, Virgo. You're hot. You're hot to trot, Virgo. Don't you forget that. You look good. And you're good. Like, I mean, yeah, you're a good person. Everybody's got some good stuff about them. But Virgo, I mean, listen, <laughs> you're like, you're too, you're too good. You're too good. Stop under, uh, underestimating yourself. You overrated this person and you underrated yourself. Sw flip that around. Flip the script. Underrate them and overrate yourself. Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. <clears throat> I don't know, Virgo. I don't feel, I feel like for whoever this reading is for, this is more, uh, this is less about being in doormat energy and more about like being the feet on the doormat and saying, no, I wipe my feet on this shit. Am not engaging in this kind of behavior with someone. No way. Some of you have been in denial and you're coming to accept it, right? This person's got addictive qualities or some issues. It's safe for you to trust in this situation upside down, okay? So, no, you can't trust this person because they lied, you know? Like I said, they got to come in with that bloody stump. That's what you're looking for. And if you don't know what the bloody stump is, join the chat. Everyone in the chat will tell you. Um, this is someone who's going to come in and offer you. You know, we're in horror mode here. But bloody stump is basically like, I'm going to come in, cut my leg off, and I'll limp for you for the rest of my life. Here's my leg. You know? It's like a sacrifice. Okay? Sacrifice. They're going to have to come in real hard like that. And I don't know, Virgo. I just feel like... Here you are, self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before doing anything. This is all about you right now, okay? For some of you, this might have been a strictly sexual relationship. You might need to come to terms with that. Some of you might have fell in love with someone who was a player. Um, come to terms with that. If you feel like you got played, say, okay, that's fine. You got played. Take it. Walk away and uh, find something else. That person, you know, the person that plays you, honestly, like you might think, okay, I'm going to take the L and I'm going to lose Right, but you're not really going to lose because people who live their lives being players are the are the actual losers, right? I mean, there's a time to play. Do you know what I mean? Like, for example, if you're trying to um, say sell your house, you, you want to kind of work it with someone. You know what I mean? You want to kind of like you know play it up a little bit. You know, you don't want to hurt anybody, but someone that like takes and abuses as a player in that way to to for emotions. 
Like, it's one thing if it's in business, okay? But in emotions, no, you don't mess around with people's emotions. You don't do that. That's loser behavior. Loser behavior. That's immature. That's, it's, they're in cells, in cells. That's what those people are called, okay? They're the types of people, especially if they're guys, they're the types of people that they can never get with a woman. And then when they try to get with a woman and they do get with her, then they wind up like being passive aggressive or hostile towards her um, because they can't ever get with any women. Like they, they, they have like a problem. What is the exact definition? Like they blame women for why they can't be with women. You know, this very insecure behavior, Virgo. Some of you might have been dealing with this person. Maybe it's not to that extent, but it's just an energy of like they couldn't even open themselves up to be emotionally uh, available because they have addiction issues or they're obsessed or whatever that's going on. Maybe the only way they could connect was through a sexual relationship. You know, it's not a loss for you, Virgo, to lose that. It's not. It, your feelings are just attached. And once you, like, you start to detach your feelings to see the truth, okay, you will, uh, trust me, you'll recover once your eyes begin to open, okay? All right, retreat, time alone, or in nature will help you recharge. That's what I was saying. So you got a trip coming up or you got plans to do stuff, get out in nature, whatever it is, do it. Go for it, even if you don't want to. Even if you're just like, eh, you don't feel like it, that's fine. Because once you get there, you'll feel like it. I promise. It's just like, you know, going to the gym. You don't feel like going to the gym. Force yourself to go anyway. Once you'll get, Once you get there and start doing one little thing, you'll start feeling like you want to be there. Okay, let me see what the Chinese sign is here. All right, a whole bunch fell out. You got year of the pig, year of the rooster. This could be you, it could be them. Year of the ox, year of the horse and the snake. Okay, year of the pig again, rooster again, year of the dog. And you're the tiger. All right, Virgo, that's crazy. This is a crazy reading. I know somebody was like, oh, how come these readings resonate all the time, but nothing's happening? I'm like, maybe, what? I don't know how to answer that question. Let me see. I, I can't bring you a lover. That's how I answer that question. The readings are resonating all the time. I mean, don't you hear me in the readings telling you, like, you need to get out and live your life? Right? I mean, if you're sitting on the couch listening to my readings every night, and you're like, they resonate, they resonate, but it's been a month and I haven't met my lover. Okay, well, uh, you, what do you think? They're going to come try to knock on your door and sniff you out and try to find you sitting on your couch all day? You got to get out there and you got to keep trying. Love, like, you got to keep making yourself available, right? Love's a gift, it's a blessing when it comes. It's not, it's not an everyday thing. And it's it, the word itself, I mean, it just feels like it's a little it's it's valuable it's sacred okay we've got a young female youthful music uh music okay this might be some of you this could be you um into fashion music very youthful you might not be young but you could be young looking okay what else do we have here okay oh and a mature man older male mature in age that could be you okay or it could be, so these could be you, or it could be, say, a daughter and a father. It could also be, um, you know, dating somebody younger as well. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Travel and palm trees. That's what I said. Vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. Okay, Virgo. I'm telling you, you've got some options. Stop messing around with people that are just putting themselves in a position to lose you. If they're willing to do that, then, you know, listen, you got your house for sale, Virgo, and someone comes in and they walk around your house and they're like, mm -hmm, they're humming around. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to make an offer right now. Maybe next time. What the hell makes them think the house is still going to be for sale? Right? As soon as they walk out that door, somebody's going to come in and put an offer in. Are you going to say, no, I'm going to wait for that person who's not sure and wait for them to come back in a month? No, Virgo. I need to sell this house. I need to get my money and I need to move. You're not going to sit and wait for someone you don't barely, who isn't investing or doing anything. Right? Am I right? <laughs> I mean, that is that what you're doing in this relationship? Well, I'm just going to sit and wait. They're not really sure. So I'm going to wait for them to come back and you know, maybe they might make an offer. Meanwhile, you're pushing all the other offers away. I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is this person really that great? 
that you want to wait, that they're going to push you away and put themselves in a position to lose you? Are, what is so great about them, Virgo? I mean, ask yourself this question. Are you addicted to the communication or the way you guys talk? Is that what it is? Are the things that they say? If there was an online thing, you're waiting around for the phone to ring. You're, Virgo, are you waiting by that phone, waiting for those texts, waiting for those phone calls, waiting to see if they pop up online? Is that what you're doing? Um, if I could reach through the screen and knock you over the head with a chicken wing, I would do that. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I would come right over there and knock you over the head with a chicken wing. <laughs> Move it on, Virgo. Keep it moving. Look at you. Like, I'm not trying to call you out or anything here, but I'm calling you out. You got wallflower. Limited potential shy withholding. Stop that. No. And th that could be the person you were connecting with. Very limited potential. This person, like like I was saying, maybe very insecure. Um, yeah, Virgo. Like, I mean, I have to just tell you one thing. Like, unless this person is your patient and you're their therapist and they're paying you, don't be in a relationship with them if they're s extremely insecure um, because they're just going to bring you down. That's what insecure people do. Bring you down. You have to be very, very secure to be with someone. Um, and if after time they are not influenced or changing um for the better because of your presence then they're you gotta go you gotta go really yeah i mean it, don't you want to feel like you can help them if they don't if they're not like if just by you being a positive influence in their life and they're not like nothing's positive happening in in their life because they keep sabotaging it then what's what are you doing for them what are they doing for you all right, I went way over. I was only going to do like 20 minutes, but I did say I would give you guys a long, a long reading. Okay, so you got twin flame. All right, some of you are in a twin flame struggle. I, I'm just going to leave that there. I don't have anything else more to say about that twin flame thing, but, you know, that might be part of the struggle. All right, let me see. Love messages here. All right, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path you guys definitely there are obstacles here you have very very big obstacles and i feel like this is really an energy of spending a whole lot of time trying to put a round peg in a square hole or a square peg in a round hole it just doesn't fit you've been trying to make something fit you've been jamming the puzzle pieces together they don't go together <clears throat> i think it's time for you to like step back like some of you getting scissors and you're like all right let me just cut this piece off try and stick it in there so we could be together we can make this work stop it just put the puzzle, put the game away and uh, go outside and play. There we go. Stop trying to put them puzzle pieces together. It's just not fitting. Okay. You need to let go. Just for now, you need to let go. Yeah. Okay. And let your friends help you. All right. Ask for and accept support from others. Some of you just need to like lean on your friends. Lean on me when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. Retreat. It's time to disconnect. All right, Virgo. Look, the messages just keep coming. And you know what it is. You know, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to keep moving this reading. And um, it's just not going to stop. I feel like this reading is going to be late getting up to you guys. So if it is, I'm very sorry. Um... I am, let's see, let me just get a couple of charms. I'm going to skip the numbers. I don't think we need any more qualifiers than what you're getting here. Okay. Oh, we have a reindeer <laughs> and a key. Somebody's name is Rudolph, maybe? Okay. Yeah, I don't even know. Okay. We've got a reindeer. Someone lived where there's reindeer, I guess. Maybe someone's name is Bambi or Brandy. Um, I'm just trying to see this thing. Yeah, you guys can't really see it because my light situation is lame. Okay, yeah, so you got some kind of a reindeer here. Um, wow, he's even got the little spots on his back, like in Bambi. Okay, somebody's going to Disney World, perhaps, um, or lives somewhere where there's reindeer. Something might, uh, something might have happened to Christmas. Um, that just passed the holiday season. Also, this key here. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you are going to... All right, they just told me someone's dealing with an Aries. All right, I feel like some of you are uh, going to find a key in the weirdest place. Like, it feels like a spare key or a key on the side of the road or in a parking lot. 
Um, and I don't know what's going to happen with that key, but I feel like that is a signi signif signifier for this reading that this is your reading okay there's some whoops if you have found a key spare key or a key um somewhere in an odd place or it's just a key you're like i don't know what this key goes to if that's happened to you i feel like this reading was 100 percent meant for you to hear all right but in the meantime i'm gonna let you guys go because that was a nice good 42 minutes it's going to be a little shorter um which is why i have that fantastic alvin and the chipmunks voice because I shorten the videos um, and it speeds it up a little. But anyway, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, link is in the description box below as per usual. Remember, do not reply to the comments um, with anyone impersonating me asking you f to book a reading with them. It's not me. Okay, sometimes I will reply in the comments, but you'll know because you'll see it'll say House of Virgo all the way across. But either way, if you see a comment and <laughs> it's like hey follow me like reach out to me on whatsapp like no that is not me and i'm gonna keep saying this every time i do these readings okay um that's it and also you guys i will be here on sunday to do another question live stream like i did last week we had a good turnout so hopefully you guys will all show up for that it's gonna be a 1 p.m eastern standard time um yeah whoever shows up you guys don't, then I'll see you later on that night. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.